hey guys, Red Rangers Forever here. Uh, I have a special announcement to make, and it's bad news. I regret to inform you, I can't do martial arts theater on Tuesdays anymore. Um, there's things going on. Twice a week is just too much. Um, kind of burning out here. Um, you will see me Saturdays, though. Uh, that's not changing. I'm not stopping the series. I'm just, I'm just moving. It's just one day a week. Um, you might see other stuff from me on Tuesdays if I make, you know, fan-made videos, maybe post a vlog detailing new moves I'm working on or plans I have for the future. But um, martial arts theater is reserved only for Saturdays only. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. So enjoy. Hi kids, welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys something a little more practical. One of my friends touched on the subject and I didn't get around to it even when I did my punch video and showed the other punches, you know, a couple videos back. So today I'm devoting a whole video to punch strength and speed. More specifically, how you can improve yours. So, let's get started. Now in my own personal, albeit a little biased, opinion, speed is more important in, uh, in martial arts or fighting in general because speed is how you land your hits. Yeah, strength is important. If, you know, if it doesn't hurt, what's the point of landing? Well, it's kind of, they're kind of both important in their own ways, but what I want, I would prefer someone to build up would be speed, um, mostly because it's easier to build up speed than strength, um, in my experience at least. So what I did when I didn't have anything to start out with was I just used my own, you know, punches. I just punched the air, and uh, what helped was music. You get music, uh, you know, you your mind adjusts to the tempo, and pretty soon your body will just move along with the beat. And, uh, yeah, you know, you can start out with a slow song and, uh, you know, just follow the bass or the drum or whatever and then pick a faster song, go a little faster, adjust to the tempo, and then go a little faster and keep going until you go to the highest song that you know with the strongest bass, the fastest tempo, and just go crazy with it. Just follow it and just... That's what I did. For strength, I tried hitting walls because uh, some of my friends said it worked. It didn't. I bruised a couple of knuckles and couldn't punch for two weeks. So what I did was a little something better. Now from this position, you can see that I am in a push-up position. Uh, I am actually using my fists to keep me up instead of my open palms. Now of course, you can do push-ups with your fists like that, but where's the fun? What I did was a push-up that, uh, that I heard some martial artists do, is basically this. And what that does is, when you go down, you push off the ground, you punch the ground, and then you go down again. And what that does is that does build your punching strength. Uh, just make sure the surface that you're punching isn't a little too hard. Tried it on concrete, did hurt a lot. <laughs> so just be careful what surface you do, and um, that's about it. Now, let me show you what eventually helped me even more. Now, eventually, one day I did go to my local sports store, you know, it was Big Five, Sports Chalet, whatever's in your area, and I picked up these hand grips. Yes, hand grips are just, you know, traditionally used to strengthen grip. Build the forearm a little. But one day I found, while screwing around, that you can use it for punches. Now at this point I had started learning Jeet Kune Do and I couldn't grasp the concept of how not to clench your fist before the punch. I was like, how do you... what? So this helped a lot because what you do is it keeps your hands open and when you punch out, that's when you clench your fist. Now see, what that does is it builds your punching strength because clenching your fist right before impact does indeed add strength to it, at least in my personal experience. Because what you're doing is you're hardening your fist. And when it's constantly hardened, it does deteriorate, it does decrease in strength. But when you harden it right at impact, it's at its best. So 
when you harden it right as you hit, it actually adds more strength and power and it hurts more. So this does work because that does help that. If so, if you get into the Jeet Kune Do style of punching, this is a great uh, thing to use. For speed and overall arm strength, this is what I use. Now, if you've ever taken an aerobics class, you know what these are, exercise bands. Now, there are other variations of it that you can use to stretch your back, you can use to, you know, stretch your arms, your chest. You know, this, this kind is the one you use to put on the ground and do arm lifts, you know. Um, for punches, here's what you do. You take the band, wrap it a couple of times around each hand, put it behind your back, get in your fighting position, and punch. Now, what that does is, let me see what I can demonstrate. When you punch, the band, it pulls, it tries to pull on your arm, it tries to pull back so the band can be one piece again, one solid piece, and, you know, instead of stretching itself out. What that does is it weakens your arm. It weakens this whole part of the arm, and your arm will want to punch less and less, less further, and less, you know, less uh, slower. It will want to punch slower and less further. What you want to do is you want to just keep punching. Punch as fast as you can, as hard as you can, and eventually you'll build up your arm strength, you know, Eventually, the band won't affect your arm, and also at the same time, you can punch faster. Because if you can punch with some force pulling your arm back, imagine when there's no force pulling it back at all. So, that's basically it. That's, I don't really have much else. That's pretty much all I use. Uh, I don't really do the punching push-ups anymore. That's just what I used when I first started. I still use the music though, that's, that's always a good motivator and it's fun to keep up with the rhythm of the song, it kind of becomes a game in of itself, so, you know, I recommend using the forearms, uh, the hand grip, if you want to build your strength, and I recommend very much the exercise band, because it builds the whole arm strength, you know, and it does get you punching faster, so, you know, that's pretty much it, you don't need much else. You know, I know there's things on TV that, let me just say, paying good money for a resistance band with gloves, if you're really going to invest money into that, you, you, no. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's it. That's how I built my punching strength and speed, and um, it works. It may not work for you, uh, I hope it does, but... Um, you know, if, if it doesn't, just you can always experiment with other things because that's what I did. That's how I found out the, the grips can be used to build punch strength and the band can be used for punching speed. I was just messing around when I first started that. I was like, wait, this works. So that's, that's it for, uh, for this edition of Martial Arts Theater. And uh, once again, you will never see me on Tuesdays again uh, doing tutorials. Uh, you will maybe see fan videos that I put together or at the very least a vlog uh, detailing progress on certain moves that I'm working on. Uh, I'll get into those if I ever start a vlog series. Um, but you only see me Saturdays now uh, to do this. Um, so yeah, just uh, leave a comment uh, on this video, let me know how I did. Uh, send me a personal message if you want to compare notes, maybe go into further detail, I can try to, you know, describe more things to you. Uh, you know, more detailed aspects of my training. Um, if you want to see more in the future, you can subscribe, um, you know, look at my past videos or whatever. And that's about it. So, until Saturday, kids, this is Red Rangers Forever, signing out. Take care.